Okay, thank you. Hello, welcome. This is a joint press conference relative to the National County Sports Meet, which will be addressed by the U.S. Sports Minister, D.Z. Ogawis, and the Internal Affairs Minister, Ivan Selly. So, welcome. Thanks for watching. Good afternoon. And the noise is too much of moving around. We appreciate If you got it, please position yourselves. We have an important issue. This is an important event. Members of the press, there is too much sign in the background and people are listening to this press conference. So I would appreciate if we all take our respective position as we go through this press conference. Good afternoon to you all. And let me welcome you all to the Ministry of Youth and Sports. I'm here with the Minister of Internal Affairs, Minister Vani Salif. You all know the National County Sports Meet is being sponsored by jointly by both the Ministry of Youth and Sports and the Ministry of Internal Affairs. So this is a joint press conference relative to what transpired during the final match on Sunday, January 26 at the Samia Kanyando Sports Complex. I will be reading from a prepared text, and thereafter we will take your questions, and then we will call your day. I want to appreciate you all for being here, and we start at the start. A rejoined press conference, Ministries of Youth and Sports and Internal Affairs on NIMBA versus Grand Crew March Disruption. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, in consideration of the unfortunate situation that occurred during the Grand Crew final match between, I'm sorry, between the Grand Final match between Grand Crew and Nima counties in the 2019-2020 National County Sports Meet held Sunday, January 26, 2020 at the Samuel Canyon Do Sports Complex, which actions resulted in the interruption of the match due to incitement and hooliganism by officials of Nima County. The Ministry of Youth and Sports and Internal Affairs would like to use this medium to apologize to the sporting community, supporters, fans, partners, sponsors, stakeholders, and the citizenry of Liberia for the, for the disruption of the match. While we didn't envision that the game would have ended in such an unconventional manner, because we are not foretellers to determine the intent of people far ahead. However, with lessons learned, it is our hope and it is our hope that corrective measures will be put in place to avert situations arising out of similar conditions in the near future. Again, we regret the ill star situation and wish that never in the history of our country, football development, we will ever revert to the path of unsport unsporting behavior or unsportsmanlike behavior. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, over the last several hours, thereabout, we've been receiving calls locally and internationally from passionate Liberians regarding outcomes of the game. Following a high-level consolidated meeting with the technical team and members of the organizing committee of the event, the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Youth and Sports took into account the rules and regulations governing the tournament as its foremost reliance to address the concerns. Cognizant of the foregoing, the ministries which, to reiterate their commitment to promoting fair play, 
developing a brand, a brand that all Liberians, both at home and in the diaspora, will relate with and also draw inspiration for national unity, cohesion, nationalism, patriotism, gender mainstreaming, and growth for national development and using the opportunities provided by the sports meet to mobilize the youth of the country to propagate as well as actualize the attainment of their full potential. Now, ladies and gentlemen of the press, we are pleased to inform the public through you that decision reached was as a result of comprehending the reports submitted by the match officials as well as consultative engagement with our technical team and in strict adherence of the rules and regulations governing the tournament as rich thoughts. That Nimba County knowingly violated Article 16, Section 16.5 and Article 19, Section 19.1 respectively of the rules and regulations governing the tournament, which reads false. 6.5. Any county player, coach, or official of a county obstructing, delaying, or compelling a game to come to a halt shall be fined the amount of 200 United States dollars. 500 United States dollars for second offense. The fine shall be paid before the county next schedule match. Suspension for two years from national sports meet. Article 19, section 9.1. Violence during game. 19.1. Any county team that behaves rudely on the field of play and brings the match to a halt or disrepute, according to the match officials' report, shall be fined the amount of $1,500 United States dollars. The fine shall be paid before the county's next game. If the match in question is the last match of the county being fined, deduction shall be done during the following year's allotment. As interpreted above, it is a known fact that officials of Nima County, led by Mr. Musa Kroma, team manager, and Coach Muta Fufana, head coach, and other officials to be identified, incited and recalled players from through verbal instructions to abandon the game in frequent violation of the rules governing the tournament. The action of Musa and Muta and other officials to be identified led to players of Nima County football team discontinuing the match and the subsequent invasion of the page by angry supporters, etc. Thankfully, we are grateful to the Liberia National Police and the Joint Security for the vigilance leading to putting the awkward situation under control, thus protecting lives and property. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, the Ministries of Youth and Sports and Internal Affairs have not taken the individual and collective behavior of Nima County players and officials likely. As a, as a consequence, therefore, we have taken the following actions with the hope that it serves as a deterrent to others. That Mr. Muta Fufana, head coach of Nima County, is hereby suspended from all sporting activities directly or indirectly 
for two years, 2021 to 2023. Mr. Musa Koma, team manager of Nima County, is also suspended for the same period as the head coach of the Nima County team. That Nima County is hereby fined $1,596 for violating Article 19, Section 19.1, which states, amongst others, that any county, team, that behaves rudely on the field of play and brings the match to a halt or disrepute, according to the match official's report, shall be fined the amount of $1,596. That Grand Cru County is the winner of the 2019-2020 two, National County Sports Meet. That Grand Cru County will play a select team of Lone Star 1996 and 2000 at the Antonio Tuckman Stadium on Thursday, January 30th, at which time all awards will be given out to the teams, to all those teams kickball, football players who should receive their, their medals will be received on Thursday at the Antoinette Tottenham Stadium. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once more for coming and thanks for the interest expressed thus far. Your platform to promote the National Council Sports Meet through the media, including internet, television, radio, and news coverage. To you all, we remain grateful. Thank you, and may God richly bless you. We we'll take your question. Who can pull in and respond to your question? We we'll take uh, five questions. Yeah. We we'll take five questions. So we we'll start with uh, from the front page. All right. My name is Christopher Walker from Front Page Africa. Mr. Minister, I call you with doing your press conference here and talk about Muta Kupana being suspended and us putting it fair. Remember Muta coach in the National League. So your suspension have you communicated with the LFA and we will take effect from the LFA. The LFA fully aware of our decision and it's our understanding that it will take effect from the Labour yeah. Football Association. Yes. Yeah, my name is Imano from Spawn TV. Uh, I want to know, uh, there was a lot of complaints from the Nima County team. Have we also tried to investigate from the Nima official as to what happened on the page that led to Nima County? Or if that was said to, is there any case against the referee for this particular match? The Ministry of Youth and Sports Technical Committee then that of the Ministry of Internal Affairs have received no formal complaint from Nima County yeah. as we speak. Thank you, yes. Yeah. My name is Garrison Dia, I work for Hot FM and Hot TV. Uh, you quoted uh, the rules of the county meet and the same rules in Article uh, 16 and 19 that you quoted. They didn't indicate two years, they indicated one year, so I'm going to read that directly from the official article of the rules. Then you quoted. You quoted. We are going to quote it. Article 19. Quote it. Article 19. Uh, article 19 said, any county official that is brought or hot in the league should be found. Two hundred analysis dollars for first of pain mm. and five hundred mm. for second of pain yeah. and be suspended for one year. Are you going to Yeah. And when be one. suspended for one year. Yeah. When one? Yes. That's why it says. That's why it says. All right. Suspended for one year. Can I generally read it for me? You tell him to do your research before you come. You'll be reading it. Everybody will read it for me. 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 Read it any county team that leads rudely on the field of play and brings the match to a halt for this dispute, according to the match officials' report, shall be fined the amount of one thousand five hundred dollars. The fine should be paid for the county's next game. If the match is questioned, it is sorry. If the match is questioned, it is the last match of the county being fined. Deduction should be done during the following year as allotment. Hello, hello, hello. No, I will, I will read that. I'll read this to my father. I'm the only one who can read it. This to my father says, this is the document, right? They say, any kind of official, coach or official of the county, 
obstructing, delaying, or compelling a game to come to a halt shall be fined the amount of two hundred United States dollars, five hundred United States dollars for the second offense. The fine shall be paid uh, shall be paid before the next scheduled match. Suspension for two years from National Academy. Two years in the document. Two years. I, I, will, I will appreciate journalists when you want to challenge something, you do your research. <laughs>